Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss class crinoidea. Class crinoidea belongs to phylum Echinodermata. If we look at the literal meaning of crinoidea, crin mean lily, and noidea mean in the form of. So these animals looks like in the form of water lily. So that is why they are known as crinoidea. Let's discuss the structure, morphology, anatomy and functions of these animals in detail. So this is an animal belonging to class Crinoidea which is known as feather star or Neometra. It has main body region right over here which is known as theca, which include all the major organs of the body. From there arises two kinds of filaments. One type of filaments arises on the oral side or on the upper surface which are known as arm which make up the crown part of the body and some filaments are on the aboral side which are known as cirri which are used for attachment and locomotion. These arms contain microfilaments which are known as pinules which give them feather like appearance. So let's Let's discuss the characteristics of these animals in detail one by one. First of all, these animals which belongs to phylum Echinoderms, Echinodermata are most primitive Echinoderms. Most of the species are extinct but some of the species are living in marine water. If we look at the digestive system, they usually feed filter feeding, suspension feeding with the help of arms. These arms contain some grooves through which food particles which are in the form of planktons, phytoplanktons or zooplanktons are traveled down towards the mouth where food enters inside their oral cavity or in the mouth where food is digestive, digested and uh, the digestive system is U-shaped without presence of stomach. If we look at the reproduction of these animals, these animals are usually dioecious and as well as monoecious. Dioecious means male and female animals are separate, sexes are separate while in monoecious same animal contain both type of gonads. Usually there, there is a method of cross fertilization and a process known as protandry takes place in monoecious species. Protandry means male gametes are formed first and then female gametes are formed. It is make sure that the fertilization is crossed to ensure the uh, proper genetic makeup of their uh, embryos. After fertilization, when uh, usually these animals spawn, they have a space in the water where they lay eggs and sperm for the process of uh, development while some animals after fertilization they brood their embryos on their arms. They are usually found in marine environment. So they are specifically found in marine waters. As I told mentioned earlier that mouth is present on the upper side which is known as oral side some species and anus is present on the lower side or just towards the just near the mouth and that side is known as uh, uh, aboral surface and it is usually present in the theca section of the body some species are stalked like water lilies water lilies has same arms but it has a long stalk rising from the theca. At the end of the stalk there are some hold fast like structure with the help of which these animals can attach to the substratum. While some animals are unstalked like as you can see in this diagram feather star which is new matter ye, this, is anim this animal is without stalk it rather has cirri which are help which helps in the locomotion and attachment to the substratum. 
दे हैव फाइव सेट ऑफ आर्म्स अराइजिंग फ्राम द थीका एंड दीज आर्म्स अगेन आर ब्रांच इन सेवरल ब्रांचेज दीज ब्रांच आर ब्रांच एंड दीज आर्म्स कंटेन पिट्यूल्स विच गिव दैम अपीरेंस ऑफ फीदर्स लाइक ए बर्ड दे हैव होल्ड फास्ट फॉर अटैचमेंट एंड देर आर्म्स कंटेन ग्रूव्स विच आर नाउन एज एम्ब्यूलैक्रल ग्रूव्स दीज एम्ब्यूलैक्रल ग्रूव्स आर यूज फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ फूड मटीरियल विच इज़ अटैच टू द आर्म्स एंड पिन्यूल्स एंड दैन पैस टूअर्ड्स द माउथ they also have tube feet on their arms and pinnules that is the special characteristics of this phylum uh, tube feet uh, uh, usually contain or uh, contain water uh, through water vascular system because these animals contain water vascular system through which waters end to their body and then leave outside the body so the tube feet uh, they become extended after the intake of water and help in the process of feeding and two feet also contain mucus glands which helps to trap their food so if we look at the diagram one more time so these are arms these contain pinnules and the whole structure is known as crown and this portion is known as theca which also known as calyx and the bottom part is known as cirri which contain filaments which Uh, which uh, which looks like in jointed appearance so if we look at the cross section of this animal from right over here in the center you can see mouth and right over here is the anus these are five arms arising from the theca and moving towards the oral surface these are arms and pinnules and uh, these pinnules and arms contain ambulacral grooves right over here which collect food particles and uh, they also contain water vascular system through which water is enter these arms and pinnules and then leaves their body so that's all for today hopefully it makes sense and see you in the next lecture until then bye